Hello bros, today I am going through how to collect or achieve this badge, the, uh, the lightning badge. Uh, this was not easy and a lot of people are actually struggling with this. So it's in the challenges, in the tour challenges, flatten opponents three times during races. Now, the reason why this badge is so hard to achieve flattening three opponents is what actually classifies as flattening opponents. Um, using a mega mushroom to flatten opponents, I found it didn't work. It seems to just cause opponents to crash. And as you can see, it's a lightning badge. So it looks like it's something that you should only be able to achieve through lightning. I've um, used a mega mushroom based on the recommendation from other websites and other YouTube videos, but it didn't seem to work for me. So here's a video to show that I've achieved the lightning badge using the lightning, the, uh, 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 the, the, the item, the rare item that usually you can only get, I think around seventh or eighth position, but you'll see in this video that I got it when I was in the eighth position. I'll show you how to start off. Okay. First of all, you want to be choosing the appropriate driver, cart and glider, but driver, cart, well, actually there's not much that can boost your chances of getting lightning, except or glider. Glider has lightning plus, so further increases your chance of getting lightning. Using one will get you more points. So, and it's suitable for these races. Okay, these uh, these these ones. But what you want to really pick is, isn't necessarily one where you can achieve the high points because points don't matter. You want to pick a track that has narrow passageways so that all the all the drivers are clumped together. Okay, so I've tried it on Luigi's Mansion. That was a bad idea. The reason why I did Luigi's Mansion was because I want to get some experience points from it. But it was a bad idea because it was such an open field. I just could not find anyone after I used lightning. Even when I got really close to one, I just missed them. Well, the moment I used lightning, they, they kind of slide a bit and then you, you miss it because uh, uh, you, you just, you know, I, I guess I just wasn't accurate enough. But if you choose a track like the Rainbow Road, which tends, which tends to have a narrower passageways, maybe even near Bowser City. Bowser's Castle seems to be okay, but definitely not Mario Circuit or Luigi's Mansion, not even Cooper Trooper Beach. I think you'll be fine, and you'll see that I did it on Rainbow Road. So you want to go ahead and pick Rainbow Road, choose whatever character you want, choose your card. And hopefully you have the lightning glider. Grab your lightning glider. Now, this part's very important as well. You want to pick 100cc. The reason being, 50 is too slow. You'll never finish anything with 50. 150 and 200 are a bit too fast. You, you will end up just slipping right past your opponent without the opportunity to even aim and hit them. You want a controllable uh, a, 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 a track of speed so that you can actually hit your opponents and run behind them. So go ahead and pick 100cc. And how you want to start, you make sure you're last. Now this game, in this game, it is actually really hard to stay last. To even get last is hard. Now you can almost definitely get become 7th or 8th if you just hold the rocket boost button and okay, straight to the 8th. So you have a full start. Okay, so one way to really achieve that low ranking is, is to, other than just getting hit by items or getting hit by barricades, it's just go left and right. Now we don't want to touch those. Okay. Number six. I probably won't get lightning this time, but I'll cut the video so that you can see one where I did get the lightning. As you can see, I can stay number 8, but I'm left and right. No, no way you see a banana or some sort of item on the floor, just hit it, and it should stay alive. Now, I'm going to use this. Not because I want to, but because I've got to get rid of it. Oh no, that's not what I want. Okay, just, just ignore it. Seven. Oh no, we don't want six. 
Yeah, see, it's not easy to actually stay lost in this game, so I'm doing my best to actually stuff up here. I'm struggling. It's, 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 it's big. It's definitely big. Like, the worse you play, you know, you have to... Oh, man. Right, now, just as a tip, guys, if you are actually not coming last, even towards the end of the race, um, go for it, get your first place, if you can. Because there are, you know, you want to be completing your other tasks, you know, your get first place 100 times or 300 times or 300 times. You might as well use this opportunity to get some other tasks done. Otherwise, if you if you come last, you will lose XP. You lose about two percent XP every time. So you don't want to be staying last right to the end. All right. Make sure you hold on to that thunder, the lightning. Until you get right up close and you squash him. Make sure you go from behind. I have to go from behind, otherwise it doesn't count. Uh, I think that's it. We'll finish up the race and we'll see. This task is really annoying. I think this class I got it. I'm pretty sure I hit two or three people there. And I stole a mega mushroom as well when I was uh, after I shocked them. Yes! Oh, took forever that one. Alright, thanks for watching. Now, this next video is just to showcase that the Mega Mushroom doesn't work or didn't work for me.